Okay, this lesson is another example of uses of the Pythagorean theorem. It's called the distance formula. And the distance formula really is just the Pythagorean theorem. What we're doing is finding the distance between two points on an xy graph. And I know this looks a little jumbled here, but it'll sort itself out as we move along. The first thing we're doing is finding the distance between point 0.14 and point 0.52. So point 0.14 is right here, up here on the top, point 0.14. And then 0.52 is right here, 0.52. And we're looking for the distance, the straight line distance between them. And that would be highlighted here in this kind of teal colored line. So in order to find the distance, we can't just, just count squares because we're going across to a weird diagonal uh, across a number of them. What we can do, though, is use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of a side of a triangle. And the other two sides of the triangle are just the difference in the y coordinates. So this one has a y coordinate of 4, and this one has a y coordinate of 2. Well, the difference between those coordinates then is 2 units. And this one has an x coordinate of 1. This one has an x coordinate of 5. So the difference between those coordinates is 4. Those two differences give us the two sides of a right angle triangle, 2 and 4. And then the missing length that we're looking for is the third side of that triangle. So we just use Pythagorean theorem. We say 2 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 2 squared is 4. 4 squared is 16 equals c squared. So we have 20 equals c squared. And c equals the square root of 20. We can simplify that just a little bit more. 20 is the same as 5 times 4. And we know the square root of 5. So we could say c equals or square root of 4, sorry. <laughs> well, that's the square root of 4, not the square root of 5. 2 square roots of 5. So this length here, then, is 2 square roots of 5, and that's the distance between this point and this point. So let's take a look at the other one. Here we have points 2, negative 1, and negative 3, negative 4. So our differences, y difference goes from negative 1 to negative 4, so that's a difference of 3. And our x goes from 2 to negative 3, so that's a difference of 5. So we plug that into the theorem. 3 squared plus 5 squared equals c squared. 9 plus 25 equals c squared. 34 equals c squared. So the square root of 34 equals c. 34 is 17 times 2. 17 is prime, so that's not going to reduce. So we're just going to get the square root of 34 as our distance between our two points. That's all there is to it.